Hey guys, my name is Eric. Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever built a balsa airplane and spent like 30 hours on it? It looks beautiful, you take it out to the field, and the first time you fly it, it crashes. No, I've never done it. I've never built anything out of balsa, but I have spent a lot of time building airplanes. So today, we're gonna see how much of an airplane we can build in 10 minutes. Let's get into it. Hey guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be building a 10 minute airplane. I've got my phone here and we're gonna see how much of an airplane we can build in 10 minutes. Okay guys, let's get started in three, two, one, go. Okay, so let's start off by cutting out our spar out of our first piece of foam here. So I'm gonna cut a score in the middle and then we can crack that open and glue it together. So this will create our spar for our airfoil. And then we can weight that down and start on our wing. So I'm just gonna make some marks here to put the locations for the, to bend the, the leading edge. So I can cut the 245s off the leading edge so I can fold that over. And then I'm gonna cut our marks across so that we can um, make our airfoil just like that. So after that's all looking good, we can then install our spars. So we can just take and glue this down, make sure it's nice and dry. And then we can add a glue to the different spots where the wing folds over. And then we can fold that over. So just like that, we can just hold that down for a couple of minutes until it's nice and dry, and nice and even, because we don't want that coming up. And I accidentally put a bead of glue in the wrong spot. So you saw that there in the tip trailing edge. So now I'm putting the dihedral in. So I'm just going to cut some marks here and then I can fold that up and glue that together. So I'm just cutting some marks. I have to cut to the spar so it's kind of um, difficult to get perfect. But So as you see there I'm just adding some glue and putting a weight in the middle and trying to get it um, propped up the best I can on both sides. and. Then we can put our attention towards the tail. So I'm just gonna take some foam here and cut a rudder and an elevator out. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Just adding some spots for the control services to go in and then we can take and we can glue the rudder down to the elevator. And make sure that's all vertical and not falling over. So now we can start on the fuselage itself. So we're just gonna take and we're gonna cut across here um, some even lines. So this is gonna be a pretty simple fuselage. We're just gonna make a box and it should be pretty easy and straightforward. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna score some lines and then fold it over at 90 degrees. It would probably be better to actually cut a 45 degree out, but I thought this was a lot faster and that's kind of what we're going with for this build. So as we just fold that together, just making sure it's try to be the best we can in the quickest amount of time. So after we get that all looking good, we can then take and put some glue, um, hot glue down and get that all square. So I'm just trying to do my best to get this square because I did not cut these lines perfectly. So I'm just kind of paying for that now. Um, so just trying to get it as lined up as good as I can. And then I had to cut some a little bit off so that I can make it perfectly square and make it look good. So after we got all that cut off, we can then take and install our rudder. So I also wanted to put a cut a 45 at the back here. This gets a little bit of weight off of the tail and it also just makes it look nice and makes it work a little bit better. So we're just gonna, after we do that, we can then glue it on to the fuselage itself. So as you see here, it's coming along. The fuselage was super simple to make and literally anybody can do this very easily. So after we have that all done, we pretty much have the plane finished. I just had to clean up some glue there and then we can install our barbecue skewers to hold our, lead, our wing on. 
So this works fairly well, decent. It's pretty strong because of how the construction of the plane work together. And then we can just take and rubber band the wing on there. And it came together super simple. We have the whole airframe done. All we have to do now is install the servos and we can see we can fly it and it's doing pretty good. So I'm just getting some control horns here now. I actually didn't prepare this, so I just got to get it all situated. I had to drill out my um, control horns. So I printed some 3D printed control horns that I use for my airplanes and they work fairly well. So it's a lot simpler, simpler and easier than cutting them out of something like a popsicle stick, which is another solution that you can use, which I used to use um, before I got a 3D printer. So I can then just simply attach my server on here. I'm just gonna put the server on the tail. Yes, it would be better to put it closer to the leading edge and closer to the front of the plane so that I can get my center of gravity better. But this works and it's a, it's a lot quicker and easier for this build, so I'm just gonna go with it. So I just got my elevator servo glued down and then we're pretty much just gonna repeat the same thing for the rudder. So we're just bending the servo wire and then attaching it to our servo and getting that all situated. And then we can attach it and get and get the length of the servo um, wire to be correct. Like this is pretty much the most intricate and like, so you see I'm at 24 minutes now and that's because like I decided this is actually gonna take a little bit longer than 10 minutes. So it actually took about 30 minutes. But um, so we're at 24 minutes now because the electronics actually take quite a bit. So I think the electronics itself took 15 minutes, like half the time, just installing the servos and getting the wiring all correct. So. I'm just cutting a hatch here we can where we're going to install our battery and we can install all of our electronics in that little hatch. So it actually worked out fairly well. Uh, it's a pretty good um, little spot to do everything. So I'm just attaching the motor pod itself and then we get all the wires all connected up and hooked up to the receiver after we get all the front pod all mounted in. So here we are connecting our receiver and that is all looking good. So we just got to close everything all up. Okay guys, so we got the all finished up. Let's take it for our first main flight. Okay guys, so we got the plane up in the air and it's really flying really well. So I'm super excited with this plane. If you guys want to build this yourself, it's pretty simple to make. So you can spend a half an hour, it might take a little bit longer, um, depending on your skill level, but it was pretty simple and it was a great plane. I'm super glad I built this wow, because it was great. really fun and it flies really well, especially for how a little bit of time that I spent on building this plane. So if you're at Flight Fest and there's a 30 minutes before a combat, you can just be like, I'm gonna pop out an airplane and we can put it up in combat and fly it and have a blast. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of this flight because the plane flew super well. But thank you for watching. I hope you like this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will definitely um, get back to you. So have a great day. I will see you next time. I also want to say something about this landing. I thought I was going to hit this telephone pole and I pulled up really fast. I had a bunch of thrust because this is a forest battery with a 10 inch prop. So I had a ton of thrust and I um, pulled up really fast really and really the motor good. pod broke off because I didn't use tape for my motor pod and yeah, that was a mistake. So just guys, make sure you use tape for your motor pod so that it doesn't rip apart. Okay guys, so that flew awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Bye.